Rebecca. Hello, Jo. How are you doing? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So nice to see you. Yeah, so, you um, you got blown back to yourself. So, I did. Yeah. Let's let's talk about that's the title of your interview. How Rebecca got blown back to herself. So let's unpack that. Where were you at before you decided to do this work? Oh, so I was in the middle of the first lockdown. No, second, somewhere in the middle of lockdown in the UK. And I was really rethinking my relationship to my work. Um, I had been struggling for a while to get auditions, particularly struggling to get connected to the work that I wanted to do. So how I long started, have, have you been an actress, Rebecca? Just so I know. Oh God, yeah, yeah, I've been an actress for a really long time. Meaning, yeah. and I've worked and I've worked in television and I've worked in film, and things went quiet. And okay. the quieter it got, and the more tricky it got, mm -hmm. the more I found myself being pulled away from the things that really mattered to me, the things mm -hmm. that turned me on, the things that excited me, the things that made me want to pull myself apart to do on them, mm -hmm. to work with them. And I found that I wasn't happy with what I was being put up for. Mm -hmm. I was wondering where all the work that I had loved had gone and what was wrong with me. <laughs> okay. And so you're there wondering where everybody's at and what's wrong with you. And why do you decide to reset yourself and to not do anything else? What, what pulled you in this work? There was something about the way you talked about instinct and I was questioning. Wasn't it my glow? I thought it was my glow. Uh, yeah, obviously it was your tremendous <laughs> natural charisma. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, my yeah, God. So no, it was, yeah, it was you talking about instinct and and i watched the i watched the little video with the rope and i realized that i was completely tied up mm. and i was i was tied up in my own mind and i was tied up in my fear and i was tied up in the sense that what i wanted to do was passing me by and i was impotent in it and i realized it had been a long time since i felt that way potent and alive mm -hmm. in my work mm -hmm. and that, that was why I started I wanted to play I wanted to explore I wanted to be elements of a million different people so I could understand humanity oh, and I have chills everywhere I wasn't able to do it and it wasn't happening for me no and, you, because you and were I, not in your element you were not in your instrument not at all there was I mean I couldn't even I couldn't hear my I couldn't really hear my instinct anymore and after two small children and working with some incredible people and always chasing that desire to be an authentic human being. I couldn't understand why I wasn't able to tend to that and why it wasn't being explored. And I felt like I lost a lot of myself and I wanted it back. Yeah. I'm so glad you did come and get it back. So, so then you decide to do this work and how does it feel? Was it challenging? Was it fun? It was excruciating <laughs> at first um, because as soon as I, as I started and I was like instantly bewitched mm -hmm. and was all in from day one, cause I had nothing, I had nothing to lose mm -hmm. and it chimed so many bells and then about a week in, maybe less than that, I got incredibly ill, mm -hmm. of course. like day four or three. And looking back on it now, I think maybe I had a bug, but I also think there was so much pain mm -hmm. and um, rage. That you had been and withholding. passion that was desperate to get out, that it came out in the work that we were doing and it was like diving into a raw pit of me and then I couldn't move and I couldn't get out of it and I didn't want to pull away from it and I thought I was sick 
and yeah, I was so, de- and I was, but I was so determined that I did every day and I got up every day and I dra- apart from two days when I literally couldn't move, I dragged myself out and did the work, did it from my bed, Great. did it in the middle of the night when I would slept all, I just did it and I just did, yeah, I just, just did it and, it, and it, a lot of it was beautiful and a lot of it was extremely painful and there were many, many tears and some fabulous moments where I was able to say goodbye to things that I really, mm-hmm. really didn't need in me anymore. anymore yeah. um, and when I was able to welcome back parts of me that I had missed mm-hmm. hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So... You sound like an Amazon. I'm like picturing you in the middle of the night in your bed and doing the work and just like walking through your fire. But at the end of the day or at the end of the tunnel, you got yourself back. Yeah, at the end of the at the end of that, I was able to. I mean, I, I, I've said it. I've said it to you, and I and I've I've said it to camera before. Um, but I was able to hold hands with my little self mm-hmm. and I was able to tell her that it was going to be okay. Yeah. And I was able to tell her that, she, that I, she, I, we, we were enough and we'd just forgotten that. Mm-hmm. And we were more than enough. Of course. Of course. It's not that just was, that you, cause you said that you weren't feeling good enough in the beginning. I wasn't feeling anything enough. Yeah, and and so uh, it's like more than enough, and definitely human enough. If you go back to your humanity, there's no way you're not human enough. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, wonderful. So, so now when you work, um, so yeah, what are, what are the tangible results that you're apart from getting yourself back, which is when you have that, then nothing else matters. But let's say that how is the how are you showing up for the work? How, how are things uh, going? Uh... So it's just become, it's become a game again. Ah, It's become, it's become an exploration. It's become a surprise. It's become, and if I'm feeling like I don't want to do the training, it's almost inevitable that I'll come out the other side of it and I'll be like, literally. Yeah. (laughs) Um, (laughs) <laughs> yeah, so it's a completely different situation. So one of the things that I really hated was I hated self tapes because the connections that I've had with utterly wonderful directors in the past had come from my instinct and an instinctive connection with them at the very beginning. Yeah. I didn't train. I just was like, I want to do this. I went mm-hmm. to uni, I did a degree, and then I was like, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. And I pushed and I pushed and I pushed because I wanted it. Mm-hmm. And people responded to that. Yeah. And that was what got lost. Mm-hmm. Um. And, and that is passion. Yeah, it really is. And self tapes didn't do that for me. I was like, I'm not connecting with anybody. Mm-hmm. There's nobody here. There's nobody for me to speak to. There's nobody to. There's nobody for me to like bleed go into. In. Like, yeah. Offer like literally just go here. Yes, let let's just go anywhere. Just like make it feel. Mm-hmm. There was no. There was nothing. There was no way for me to do that. Um, and I'd lost my ability to, to, to key into that that vulnerability um, in myself because I was working with too much fear and I was becoming desperate and I was mm-hmm. trying to do the right thing yeah. in self-tapes when I did not like... Because I've always turned down auditions when I haven't wanted to go, even when I've had no money, still mm-hmm. when I have no money, even mm-hmm. because I just look at it and I said, there's nothing here that ch- yeah. to challenge me. There's nothing. I'm not going to learn anything here. No. And that's not true, but mm-hmm. what you've shown me is that actually, or I've learned, or the combination of the two things is, if something speaks to you, if something speaks to me in whatever way, even if it's one line, I will learn something. Yeah. But I have to be able to dive into that and explore it. And I've been given the tools to, to refine all of my imagination and give me access to to these gorgeous stories that can come pouring out that I'd lost and I'd missed and that I really wanted. So delicious to listen to you. I feel like we could go on and, and I'm discovering the work when I'm listening to you, which is 
pretty amazing because since the reset is not a program or a method or a technique, it's just like a couple of reminders to go back to you. Yeah. Um, every single time I, um, you know, discover a new actor or interview a new actor or an actor who's reset themselves, I'm just really in awe. I, it doesn't, it, it never repeats. I've never heard your story before. You know what I mean? Because it, like you're now just a full human being again and you yeah. are unique and you don't exist and that is what people are chasing that's what people are booking that's what people are looking for and paying for when they go to the movies is to see a version of humanity that they've never seen before and inevitably it never fails that if someone resets themselves i get to look at them and watch them and i'm in awe it's just like because you're absolutely unique there's no one like you and so it's you that we need we don't need a cookie cutter version of you we need you we need uh, and that's the thing i never wanted to be yeah. i wanted to just be able to give offer explore um, and play with all those mm -hmm. different elements of myself and this has given me the potency to yes look for work with people who are amazing but also to really believe in and make my own work mm -hmm. um and that has been and in there i can be as much yes. as dark as brutal as sweet as tender as i yeah. want to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's been that's been very beautiful for me yeah well, I'm so glad that you did take good care of your instrument and that you've reset yourself to be your true self because I want it. I want to see your stuff. <laughs> yeah. And, and the world needs it, right? Those little stories and souls and then thirsty audiences coming to get fed and get, you know, get nurtured with more humanity that allows them and, and reminds them that they are allowed to feel. Is, is so yeah. is so crucial so i'm so so who so glad they really are just to be able to be who they really are mm -hmm. who are they were born to be with all of the sticky edges and all the complexities Absolutely. and all the beautifulness that they have in them. yeah it's, there's nothing better oh thank you rebecca my pleasure thank you thank Joe. you if that you guys have any questions you can post them in the comments if um this work is interesting to you i'll put a link in the comments and you can join the wait list or you can ask us questions and the team will get to you okay thank you guys bye